Hello lovely children. How are you? Welcome back after the summer break. You know who I am? I am Miss Asia, your library teacher. And I'm going to share with you amazing stories every week. Yes. And today I'm here with this really interesting story about the library. I'm sure you want to know what's library all about. Pete the cat checks out at the library. Mommy. And you're going to let me know after watching and listening to the story carefully. What did you learn? What did you like in the story? Of course, the cat is really good. And he's going to make you learn about the library. So share your thoughts after listening to the story. Pete the Cat Checks Out the Library Written by James Dean Can you see the library on the cover page? Let's see. What is in the story? Pete's mom is taking him to the library for the first time. The librarian gives Pete his very own library card. Cool, says Pete. The librarian smiles. Time for the tour. The librarian takes Pete through the library. There is a big desk where people wait to check out books. Pete sees some of his friends reading at a long table. It's very peaceful and quiet. How relaxing! The librarian takes Pete to her favorite room. There are lots of Pete-sized chairs and tables and shelves. There are books of every shape, size and color. What do I do now? Pete asks. Now you read a book, the librarian says. Which book should I read? asks Pete. You can read any book you like, says the librarian. Pete looks around. There are so many books. Pete picks up all about airplanes and jets. Can you read the title of the book? Soar. He reads it and pretend he is a stunt pilot. He flies a super fast jet and does loop the loops and spirals high in the sky. Do you like the books about planes? Then Pete finds a book with dragons, wizards and unicorns on the cover. He reads it and imagines that he is a powerful wizard using magic spells and a special wand to defend his castle against a fire-breathing dragon. Kids, have you ever read book on dragons? Next, Pete opens up a book about spiders and insects. He reads it and imagines that he is a scientist studying all types of critters in the wild. He has to be very still to study some critters and very fast to study others. Wow! Then Pete chooses a book with all sorts of scary monsters on the cover. It is a book of fairy tales. Pete reads it and pretends that he is in a dark spooky forest trying to outsmart 
a big bad wolf. Can you see? Pete puts that book back on the shelf. It is too scary. Are you scared of wolves, kids? Pete opens up a book about the pyramids in Egypt. He reads it and pretends that he is an explorer riding a camel across the desert and climbing to the top of the Grand Pyramid. Can you see the pyramid? Have you ever seen it in real? Next, Pete picks a book with all sorts of robots on the cover. He reads it and imagines that he is a robot at a robot dance party. His arms and legs make whizzing sounds when he moves. When robot Pete speaks, he says, Bleep, bloop, bleep. Next, Pete picks up a book about superheroes. He reads it and makes believe that he is a superhero. He flies around the city in a colorful cape, chasing bad guys and saving the day. Wow! Then Pete spots a big book about the ocean and all its creatures. He reads it and imagines that he is a scientist in a submarine deep in the Atlantic Ocean looking for whales squids and sharks oh my goodness huge sea animals and there comes the end of the story there are so many wonderful books to read at the library pete can be whatever he imagines with a book reading is super groovy And this is how the story ends.